everyone, Leah here again from AlexJWilson.com. Well, the city was all abuzz with the Toronto International Film Festival, now that it's wrapping up, kind of had me thinking that we're really no stranger to the film industry. You know, we've had hundreds of films shot here. Then for the most part, Toronto's just been a stand-in for American cities like New York or Chicago. Then I was thinking, well, what about the movies that features Toronto as the city that it is? So today I'm going to be listing my favorite movies set in Toronto. Leah's Little Adventures in Big Toronto. Episode 19, Movie Set in Our City. Alright, 2003, Owning Mahoney. It's a movie about gambling addiction, and it has a cast that includes Philip Seymour Hoffman and Minnie Driver. So it's based on the story of a Toronto bank employee who embezzles more than $10 million to feed his gambling habit. When it came out, it was named one of the 10 best movies of the year by critic Roger Ebert. So aside from stealing money from the bank, I really like that this movie depicts Toronto of yesteryear. The story set in the early 80s, and there's some really um, interesting scenes in the financial district, and you can, you know, see this one in the opening scene. It's at King & Young and features um, the old streetcar. Moving on to Chloe, it's a 2009 erotic thriller. It's uh, directed by Adam Agoyan, and it's a remake of an old uh, French movie called Natalie. It stars Julianne Moore, Liam Neeson, and Amanda Seyfried, who's in the title role. So the recognizable locations in this movie include Allen Gardens, Yorkville, and Cafe Diplomatico on Collins Street, although it's always much, much busier when I've been there. Moving on, uh, we got Take This Waltz. It's a 2011 comedy drama that centers on 28-year-old uh, freelance writer who lives in Little Portugal. It stars Michelle Williams, Seth Rogen, and Sarah Silverman, as well as Luke Kirby. So there's a lot of really uh, beautiful locations in this movie. My favorite being on the west side, Trinity Bellwoods, Lakeview Lunch, and Queen Street West. Um, many of the scenes really reflect Toronto in its best light and really capture the essence of the city. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. So Toronto had never been so cool as it was in 2010 when Brian Lee O'Malley's graphic novel came to life as a feature-length movie. With Toronto as his backdrop, Michael Sarah as Scott Pilgrim must defeat his new girlfriend's seven evil exes in order to win her heart. I love this movie. It's loads of fun. It has a star-studded cast. It really captures a collective experience of being in Toronto in your 20s, such as hanging out in the annex, scene shows at Lee's Palace, and band practice in your friend's apartment. So when you match that with comic book fantasy, video games, and fighting, you've got a recipe for a cult following. Well, that's all the time I have for this week. What's your favorite movie set in Toronto? Uh, if you've seen the F word with Daniel Radcliffe, let me know if it's worth checking out. Um, I, I hear there's some good scenes in that one, so really curious. And remember, if you'd like to peruse all our videos related to AlexJWilson.com, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks!